Hello, this is Michelle Knight. Welcome to your weekly astrology. This week it's very, very emotionally intense. That's because we've got a blue full moon and a total lunar eclipse. Here's your weekly astrology. Hello, lovely Pisces. How are you feeling? This week's quite emotional. On the 31st, we have this blue moon eclipse, lunar eclipse, and it's connected to Celis, the wildling who's like Pluto. So she's going to bring some radical changes and make you strong enough to handle those changes, but there is no going back. And part of the focus of this full moon for you is on your health and well-being and sorting out the details in your life. You know, sometimes maybe you're busy thinking and feeling and giving and connecting and dreaming that you're not dealing with paying certain bills on time or sorting out hoovering under the bed or, you know, maybe it might be something, you know, not eating properly or not taking care of your beautiful self. This moon is going, nah, you have to do all of that to give you the structure and foundation for what is to happen next. It sounds boring, but I have learnt now over the years, take me a long time, that actually when we deal with that crap, everything is much freer. And certainly you may decide to have some kind of radical lifestyle change, which ends up putting petrol in your beautiful engine. And you will be able to swim past the other fishes and go, yeah, I'm in the zone. There's a lot of energy also that's very spiritual and magical this week. You're sort of going into a very familiar energy. You're very, very super psychic this week. As Mercury goes into your 12th house, you're like, you're, you're feeling things, you're thinking things, you're intuiting things. Write down your dreams. Do something inspirational that focuses you every day so you can gather all the information that's coming to you that's kind of a bit nebulous. You can't quite reach it. So you have to kind of, you know, allow it to come in. And that's actually your forte. You are the sorceress or sorcerer of the Zodiac. You are the magical creature that is kind of more open to the realms of mystery than any other sign, arguably. And this week, there's a lot of messages coming from the cosmos directly into your pool. Now, what else do we have here? We have Mercury sextile Mars. You're able to articulate and talk frankly and freely and strongly about some of your dreams that you want to manifest in reality, particularly around your work. All of us are having quite an indulgent and hedonistic and maybe we're all letting go or, or wanting to just not care and just experience either buying things, feasting or... or getting involved in something that we're not thinking about anything but that moment and for you you might like book a holiday you might do something that you can't necessarily afford but you just, just your heart is saying you've got to do it be a little bit careful because it is overly extravagant I mean, it's wonderful to feel free sometimes but you've got to judge whether you're someone who does that all the time or this is a one-off kind of feeling from your soul but certainly there's many pleasures to be had at the end of the week Anyway, have a stunning time, gorgeous. Take care, and I'll speak to you too soon. Thanks for listening, gorgeous. Just to say, I've got some amazing new stuff on the website. We've got a natal chart and a description, not just the pretty world, but all the stuff about you written down for free on michellenight.com or horoscope.co.uk. Obviously, I've got my fabulous psychics, all handpicked by me, and tons of free tarot readings, articles, and loads and loads of written astrology, weekly, daily, and yearly. Take care, gorgeous. <laughs>